What's up, nerdlings? Greetings, nerdlings. Do you nerd for uh, new to you treats? Treats. Hey there, nerdlings. Oh god, that felt so good. I've always wanted to say it. I hear you saying nerdlings all the time, and I just mm, it was pent up. I needed to get it out. Anyway. They're doing things they've never done, hoping that it's lots of fun. Oh, oh, oh they're nerdgins. Now, these treats were sent to us from our bro from across the ocean. <laughs> wow. Wanna try again? Didn't know. Let's just drop that one. <laughs> we got these from Sega Head. Now, he sent us all kinds of goodies and we are ready to uh, do a little taste mm -hmm. test. We will leave a link in the description below to the video where we got all of these lovely gifts. As well as a link to Sega Head's channel. Please check him out. Amazing content creator, so much fun, so entertaining. Shit. Uh, uh it's not what you think. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not what you think. Got some water to uh, help cleanse the palate a little Did bit. Bring Link because you keep talking about all the links you're going to send. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start with a jelly slug. All right. Well, we do not have uh, Hagrid on hand with the bucket, so let's hope for the best. Dump those bad boys out there. Let's take a look at them. <laughs> oh, look at those little, they look like little alligators, don't they? Not slugs? Uh, yeah, like poking up out of the yeah. water. I can see that. They're like little swimmy alligators. Oh, they smell good. That they do. Very fruity smelling. Pretty decent variety here. So it looks like we have one banana, so we're going to have to share him. Fruity I think those are the ones. juicy pears. Mm -hmm. Tangerine. Red ones. Sour cherry. Ooh. Okay, and then green. Watermelon. I definitely want to try the banana, so what do you want? Heads or tails? Tails. That's definitely banana. Banana, banana, banana! Banana flavorings always make me nervous. They're not bad. There's a kind of almost a waxy texture to them. Right. It's very much like a candied banana or... Oh, it, like the freeze-dried bananas? Yeah, I was going to say, if you dehydrated or mm -hmm. freeze-dried a banana, but it wasn't as crunchy. It has that flavor, so I like that because I like those anyway. Yeah, and what was the orange ones? Tangerine. That's what I wanted to try. Very orange, citrusy. Mm hmm Which is kind of funny because I think if it were here in the States, it would just be orange. It wouldn't be a tangerine. Does anyone have any orange slices? That has a good citrus mm -hmm. flavor. You know, and even though they're, um, you know, kind of like a dry, waxy texture, it is juicy. It is, yeah. It's kind of weird. It's not like a normal gummy. So juicy, yeah. We've got an idea of the slugs. Those are pretty good. What do you want to try now? You pick something. All right. Well, let's bust into one of the chocolates. Let's, let's be ready. We'll be ready with the Nutella. They are individually wrapped. This one got a little smooshed. It's just kind of like a nice, like, biscuit-looking thing. Mmm, smell that. Mmm, yeah. You don't have to sell me on the Nutella part. <laughs> mm. The wafer reminds me of, like, kind of like the Nutty Bar wafers, where it's that very airy, crispy... I could see that. ...wafery kind of a thing. It They're really good. really makes me think of the Kinder candy bars that we get. Yeah. Because it's it's that same yeah. soft wafer. It's just not covered in chocolate like that. Right. And that Nutella spread in there is really, really good. It is because the wafer isn't really all that sweet. So it counteracts the over sweetness of the Nutella. I think that the puffed wheat crispies that are inside with the Nutella spread, I think that helps to keep that crunch going even after you've bitten through the mm -hmm. wafers. That is good. That makes for like a, a nice <laughs> quick snack. <laughs> you know, those would be pretty good in my lunchbox. No, no, we don't need to put them in the lunchbox. <laughs> All right, would you like to try the Birdie Bots beans or something else? Let's try a chocolate bar. 
Oh, well, you do have a nice variety here. I am very curious about these twirls. So we got just like a nice long skinny bar. So it's almost like a, a Twix bar, a little longer and a lot thinner. Well, that is very unique. We definitely, to my knowledge, do not have a chocolate bar in the States like this. I really like how on the inside, it literally is twirly. Yeah, it's like, like... Just like the name says. It's like twirls of chocolate, and then you dip it in chocolate. Which, just kind of like the aerated kind, it does leave for very airy and fluffy. And I think this is Sega Head's favorite chalky bar, so I think I can see why. Yeah, with that Cadbury chocolate, and then with it being aerated like that, I mean, it just... You, you bite into it, you get through that chocolate outer coating, and then it just dissolves. It just, yeah, it literally so melts in your fluffy. mouth. It's like it disintegrates. That would be really good in like a hot chocolate. Like dipping it in the hot chocolate or just let it melt in the hot chocolate. A whisper. You did enjoy saying whisper. Don't so forget your whispers. let's give that one a go. Okay. So it's kind of a thicker bar. At first glance, it reminds me of um, like the little pastries, the Swiss roll cakes. Yeah, it definitely. Just looks shrunken like that. down. Mm -hmm. Seems like a bigger version of the twirl, but creamier. Mm hmm. I was trying to see if it says anything about the chocolate because it is by Cadbury as well, does but it, it does seem a lot richer. Does it look like there's two different ones in there, or do you think it, it's just the temperature change? It does look like it, but yeah, it might just be the temperature. It's very, very light. That's really good. Yeah. Ooh. And it is very, very rich. Mm -hmm. So I could see maybe if you weren't dedicated to a larger aerated chocolate bar, maybe the Toro would be uh -huh. a better go-to. Yeah, that one seemed, the Toro was a little bit more bitter, whereas this one was a little bit more milky. Let's try a Happy Hippo. Happy Hippo. Hippo. So Kinder is one that we occasionally see some stuff here in the States mm -hmm. for. And we do have our own version of the Happy Hippo, but I seriously don't think ours are as cute as these. Just look at that little hippo face. Look at that tiny hippo hiding in the water. Nice. See, I really don't remember ours having that bottom like that, but maybe they do. Maybe I'm just misremembering them. Well, I don't think ours has the crunchy bits. They, it might be like, you know, just plain. Do well, want... I'm going to take a bite of the hippo's butt. I was going to say heads or tails. It's that classic Kinder Center. Mm -hmm. Creamy Center. Creamy Center. <laughs> Love that. There's something about that crunch, but then having like that chocolate and that cream filling. Yeah, it is so so good it's still a different kind of wafer though than the nutella one that one was a bit more airy wafer this one's more dense i wonder if it's the size if that has anything to do with it i don't know but yeah it's those good. are good that's probably one that we'll be fighting over Let's see <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I think I'm starting to feel the sugar rush come on and I don't know if we're even halfway through. We got this. Let's see what our card is from our chocolate <laughs> frog. Watch it. They've only got one good jump in them. Not now he does it. <gasps> oh, you ate his leg. Oh, it's a crunchy frog. Were the ones from the Wizarding World not crunchy? Were they just solid chocolate? I thought they were solid chocolate. I don't remember them being crunchy. That's a nice surprise. Mm-hmm. So those are his little chocolate frog bones. Oh. Spit that out. That's pretty good. I'm trying to think if our chocolate frogs that we had tried before. I know they were bigger and thicker. Yeah. Maybe that's why this tastes a little sweeter, just because it's like a more manageable flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ones that uh, we had, I mean, those things were almost impossible to bite. All right, who do you think we got? Hmm. You go for it. <laughs> Jocunda Sykes. She's a Quidditch player, it looks nice. like. Nice. Am I right? Is she a Quidditch player? It looks like it. The little arm moves up and down. 
So she salutes. Oh, that's very cool. This witch is famous for the first ever Atlantic broom crossing. Oh, maybe so she's not a Quidditch player. Hey, where'd she go? Well, you don't expect him to stick around forever, do you? <laughs> well, you can't expect him to run around all day, can you? That's cool. I do enjoy how they uh, use the lenticular mm -hmm. to get the motion in there. It's a lot of fun. So, all right. So the Wizarding World version of Amelia Earhart, I take it. That's fun. Ooh. Of course, I wonder where she ended up. Hopefully somewhere better. Uh, hopefully somewhere someone knows. <laughs> I think it's time we we broke up the uh, run of chocolate just a little bit. Mm. Let's do this. This is not gonna be good. It's gonna be fine. Mm. We'll see. George sweared he got a bogey flavored one once. All right, I'm just gonna hand you one. Uh, I think I can smell them already. They smell oh, they funky. They do smell funky. Oh. Oh, it's it's white with like little yellow. No, it's white with one yellow speckle on it. This can't be good. <laughs> she knows already. Yes, I do. <laughs> Your face is great. <laughs> what is it? Oh. 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 It's so bad. Why did you let us do that? It's so bad! <laughs> you want to tell me what it is? Earwax. That's not what it tastes like. <laughs> well, it's the only white one on here. Without anything else on it. Mm. Or it could be soap. Mm. Is it soap? I don't. Mm. You want to take some drinks? <laughs> Oh, good God. I couldn't even swallow it. <laughs> that bad, huh? Oh. <laughs> you know that guy's oh, dying Give laughing. me a twirl. <laughs> Something else. Anything else. No. <laughs> no. You can hand it to me. Mm. <laughs> you want to hand it to me or do you just want me to dig in? I don't know if I want to be that mean to you. Yeah. I'll let you dig in. Choose your own fate. Uh oh. It's white with yellow markings on it. Do you want to try a different one since that seemed to be like what I got? Oh. That's not a that's not flattering a good, color. That's not a good green color. So don't tell me what it is yet. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I can't smell anything. Okay. Actually, that's pretty pleasant. I think it may have been watermelon. It tastes like watermelon. Does it? Looking at the back of this, by the way, I think mine might have been rotten egg. Oh, really? Or do you want me to try the rotten egg with you? That is up to you. Do you want to try for two or? We'll try. Let me have the, the water to clear my palate. I don't think it's rotten egg. It's smoky. Now this one looks like it might be black pepper. Ooh, I'm I curious. Hate black pepper. I like black pepper, so. Yes. Mm hmm. That to me, because of that black pepper taste, honestly, makes me think of just. A Midwest country breakfast with your sausage gravy loaded with black pepper. I will take all of those. You can have the rotten egg ones. What do you think those are? I think it's an earthworm. I don't think they're red enough. Looks like it may be more the sausage. Want to try it too? Here, cheers. Cheers. Cheers with me. Cheers. My sausage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's weird. I definitely just, I just don't want to vomit one. It tastes like sausage. 
Doesn't mean it tastes any better, though. I think that's vomit. I'm not trying that. What do you think, nerdlings? Vote in the comments below. I feel bad, though, that you got, like, a really nasty one, and I just have gotten, eh. Because you don't even want to try this one. No, because vomit will make me vomit. Um, if you're gonna spew, spew into this. <laughs> Is it vomit? Well, that may be. <laughs> <laughs> Take a last list. No more. No more birdie bots for me. No, thank you. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. Mm. Mm -mm. No. No, ma'am. No, sir. No one. <laughs> no more. No more. No more. <laughs> Which was worse, the first one you tried or that one? Uh, let's not talk about either. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're there. There, there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link to Sega Head's channel, and I want all of you guys to go over there and unsubscribe. Even if, if you're not subscribed, and tell him how he dare you. He didn't make you eat it. Oh, he did. <laughs> you know he did. Okay, yeah, no more birdie bots. No. <laughs> oh my god, that's, <sighs> that's funny. You chose poorly. You want to try something else? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> now, a double decker. This one we actually have tried before because we have a local restaurant called London Calling with, uh, <laughs> what do you like to call them? The expat. <laughs> Who came over here and sells us wonderful, oh, delicious. Oh, yeah, they're we so good. We keep talking good. about it. That's going to be what's for dinner. And now, since we have tried this one, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it wrapped uh, just for now. Since we've tried it, because we do have other chocolates to try. Like the picnic. Picnic. Raisins. I don't like raisins. Not selling But I am going to try it. But I also don't like jelly beans, and I tried the birdie butts, so. Raisins are just grapes that tan too long. That like, looks like a baby Ruth bar. I was going to say, it really has a baby Ruth look to it, especially since uh, it looks like some caramel Ooh, is coming caramel. out the side. I like that one. I do too, actually. Yeah, there are little crispies in there that give it a crunch. Mm -hmm. Was not expecting that. You can kind of see them. But I like the peanuts, of course. Oh, yeah. It's got that good chewy caramel. Which I think is why I'm actually not minding the raisins because the caramel masks that like weird texture of a raisin. That, that's why I don't like raisins. I don't get the raisin texture, but the I do taste. get the flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it, it's like a like a little like shot sweet. of, uh, yeah, sweet and mm -hmm. fruit. Really good. Yeah, that's nice. And I it's like very, that. I like how simple it is because you can tell it's just like, like they rolled it all in caramel and then covered it in chocolate. There's yeah. no uniform to it. It's kind of just a messy bar. Hey, that's perfect. I though. know, it's. I really like it. It's one. usually the simple stuff like that that mm -hmm. works best. And next, the Cadbury Dairy Milk. We do have some of these here as well. I've seen them in our grocery store. They usually sell them in the very large bars, but I don't know. Large, large. <laughs> well, they're like little, like break, break off pieces. Yeah, nice little sectioned off pieces. They definitely like a lot of solid chocolates over there, I've mm -hmm. noticed. That is, I feel like, just about as rich and, milk and smooth of a chocolate as you can mm -hmm. get. It's not aerated like the Twirl mm -mm. or the Wispa, but it still really just, just Fluffy, melts. You know. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. The milk jug made out of chocolate.
is Jerry Milk, Asli Swad Zindagi Ka. We've got two left. We've come to the point where we have the bar and the spread. Which do you think we should try first? Let's try the bar first, if that's what it comes from. Now that looks very much like a candy bar. That yes. looks like a lot of our uniformed candy bars we have over here. Um, a lot like a Milky Way or yes. a Three Musketeers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very, very light too. Oh yeah, it is. Not like our candy bars. Our candy bars are very dense and heavy. Oh. So there's that like caramelized, crystallized honey they were talking about. I could see you getting those all the time. Yes. Why? You love honey. Why do we not have this in the state? Mm, that is really good. It's like really, really like a hard crunch with that really sweet honey flavor and then that just chocolate, the soft chocolate. Yeah. I'd be getting those too. I like how it blends into the middle. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a core straight through the bar. Oh, that is wow. good. We're gonna fight for the rest of that one, I can tell. Well, <laughs> that means this is going to be all the more exciting. We have been rationing the last Cadbury jar he sent us. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh man. You know. That smells like a honey cereal. It really, it really has a familiar smell to me. I don't know if maybe. It smells like cereal. Maybe one of the candy shops that we've grown up around. Um, a local theme park, Silver Dollar City. They make their Silver own City. candy. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's what's familiar about it that reminds me of the fool, fool's gold and that could be why yeah that's making because me they've think they've got that. the fool's gold and then they've got the chocolate fool's gold something we like to do with the spreads or get some non-iced animal crackers and there's a little crunchy it's um smoother and like creamier than the other one the other one is a bit thicker yes that is good going all out. Have you done that, Tom? Having the little crispies in there, I don't know how many of you are fans of chunky peanut butter, mm -hmm. but when you have the peanuts in there, it really does change the flavor. It does. You know, beyond the just the, the texture. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of what I'm getting with this. I feel like the spread would be good on its own, of course. Mm -hmm which I mean, obviously the Cadbury, but having those crunchy bits and then that little bit of sweet from the honey in there. This would be really good on some toast or no pun intended, but an English muffin. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, like English a, muffins in the morning. A drier, a more tart mm -hmm. bread, like an English muffin. Or a, I, don't, I don't know, what do you think, a bagel? I think a bagel would be good. Like a lightly toasted bagel. Ooh, waffles. Yeah, very good on waffles. Yeah. I could see that. I just can't stop thinking about waffles. Thank you very, yes. very much thank for so you. many treats, except the uh, birdie bots. No thank you for those. <laughs> he didn't make you eat them. <laughs> but especially, I mean, I, I love chocolate, so all of the chocolates definitely won me over. I'm very, very jealous of you guys for some of these things that you have over there. The spread, absolutely incredible. The aerated bars, we had a Hershey bar like that for a brief time, and I haven't seen it for a while. I think it's still around. I think they made them more in kiss kisses form than the bar, because the bar didn't go over quite as well. But the fruit and nut bar. I really like that one. Surprisingly. Very, very nice surprise I'm there. I'm very surprised about that one. But yeah, this is always so much fun to try out stuff like this. And of course the, the Nutella. I mean, the Nutella and the Kinder yeah, having that go crispy and creamy. Yeah, those two. Yeah, it's a perfect combination. I mean, obviously we're going to love those because we like dipping animal crackers in the spritz. So thank you very, very much. This was awesome. Are you ready to go check your blood sugar now? Uh, I'm afraid to. Um, I'm ready to I start. I can see potato. I'm ready to start bagging some of this up <laughs> to save for later. Come in and like sneak little bites every now and then. 
except for the birdie butts. <laughs> but guys, I would love to know if you've tried any of this stuff, please let us know down below. And especially any of our uh, viewers across the sea, if you've tried any of this, maybe it's hilarious to you that we like some of this <laughs> stuff and you're like, really? That's that's like the most plain, boring like thing Jiffy ever. peanut butter over here. We're like, <laughs> <laughs> but let us know in the comments down below what you think. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Please remember to check the links in the description below. On our behalf, thank you for all of the wonderful, delicious stuff. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're a subscriber to see what we're doing next. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we're going it. Well, you nerd it. <laughs> and we all need to really push for him to get his butt back on YouTube. We do. We really do. Now, I'll eat this. You eat the beans. No. There's a bunch around where we live, but that's the biggest one. It's called Smith's. It's in John Smith, but Smith's. Uh, the chocolate. The answer to both questions is yes, you can get the bags over here where they all come in mini sizes and the bags where you get like four of them and they're normal size. And it sounds like one of them twirls. Oh, right. Totes Jelly, um, about you thinking about going to a toy store. Do you guys have actual toy stores there? Because ever since Toys R Us closed, we don't have an honest to God toy store anymore. Mm -hmm.